Hey guys, Tanai Marine here with another MOS profile today, talking about the 6176 Tilt Rotor Crew Chiefs for the MV22, also known as the Osprey. They, the Crew Chief is essentially responsible for the maintenance of the vehicle for the, for the bird. Uh, I said, you know, I wasn't going to do individual stuff in regards to the flight stuff because a lot of it's the same, just a different vehicle. But I figured I'd do the Osprey because. This vehicle has a special place in my heart. Deep down in the place where you keep all the things that you really don't like. They, the, uh, <laughs> these birds. So, quick story time before I go into the MOS real quick. The, the Osprey, I mean, it's gotten a lot better. There were some major issues with it when the bird was first made. They had quite a few of them. Honestly, seven or eight of them crash. And, you know, had a lot of people that were hurt and killed due to that. And it, it appears though that they've gotten all the majority of the kinks worked out and that they're, they're relatively solid birds now. They can carry quite a few Marines, you know, and equipment. They can pick stuff up and tow it underneath it. They have the tilt rotor aspect, which, which is nice because it allows them to, they can go insanely fast, first of all, when they get going. And they tilt the, the rotors like how you see a plane. But then when they want to land, you know, they can land straight up and down like like a helicopter, which makes them which makes them gives them that little bit of flexibility and allows them to do things that some other vehicles can't. But the story for this is that I was in Iraq, we had accidentally taken an M two forty machine gun from the infantry, one of the infantry units that was at the base with us, and we ended up leaving the base and we went fucking halfway across the country to another base because we needed to provide security and, and start patrolling this town. And f somehow, they basically hit, we, they loaned us the 240 for one of the posts because when we were up in Rawa, they, we were on post and basically provided security for the base. And when we left, <clears throat> we grabbed the 240 and just took it with us because a lot of the junior Marines, myself included, was not told that that 240 was on loan. We thought it was part of our 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 batteries. You know, we thought it was our machine gun, and so we took it with us. Well, we get down to Rupa and we find out that that's not the case. That we basically stole their machine gun that they wanted back. So I got tasked with taking it all the way back across the country up to Rawa to to return it to this infantry unit. And I was a corporal, and I had to wait like three or four days because the birds kept trying to come in and land down there in Rupa with us, but we kept getting sandstorm after sandstorm after sandstorm, and it just, birds don't fly in that sort of weather because they, they have major issues and they'll, they'll go down. And so every time a bird was supposed to be in, I'd get out on the flight deck and, you know, the little landing pad area that they have for, for the birds and nothing. they get canceled. Uh, but one day they finally came. And I hopped in, and there was a couple Marines, some of the, the dog handlers. They had their, their – uh, these two guys had German Shepherds. And then there was a bunch of other Marines. Some were guarding Iraqi prisoners, you know, ins insurgents that had done something. And these Marines were in charge of them. And they had them, you know, blindfolded and handcuffed, and they were in the back of the bird. I was pretty much the last one to get on the bird. And it was insanely full. And I was sitting down at – the very back of the bird, right next to me, pretty much, I could almost reach out and smack him, was the tail gunner, who's basically strapped in. He has a harness, and he has basically a hook, kind of like uh, the climbing, like D-rings almost, that you see, uh, like, mountain climbers and stuff use. And I was hooked to him, and I was on this harness, and he's in a little seat, and his job is to shoot out the back of this, this helicopter. And so he's sitting there, and I'm right next to him, and I'm carrying this 240. I got my pack with my you know, sleeping bag, change of clothes, stuff like that. I got my rifle with a shit ton of ammo because we always carried, you know, at least 12, 13, 14 mags with us. And so I was fucking, I was way down with all this shit. I'm holding on to the 240, and all the other guys were in the bird, and they're just ready to go. You know, they don't want to be there. They want to get to wherever the fuck they're going. And so the bird picks up. And we get about 100 feet off the ground. And then it just fucking tilts back. And the pilot 
goes pretty much straight up in the fucking air. And so I'm looking, I'm to my right, I'm just leaning, and I look down to my right, and I'm looking at the ground. We're just pretty much going vertical. And it scared the living piss out of me. I almost dropped the 240 out of the back of the fucking bird. I... It was ridiculous. The, the dogs were not happy about the situation. The insurgents had no fucking clue what was going on. And we're all buckled in, mind you. But the insurgents had... They were freaking out, too, which is pretty funny. And scared to piss out of us. And they fucking leveled out the bird. And everyone starts cussing and screaming up at the pilot. You know, you dickhead, blah, blah, blah. And, and the dude fucking looks back. I want to say he was lieutenant colonel. But he looks back at us and he fucking just smiles and flips off everybody in the back of the bird. And it just, it just ruined my day. There, there, there's really no chance of me falling out. But, fuck, it scared the shit out of me. And hence why I'm not a huge fan of these things. But anyway, back to the job. Back to the job. So that's why I wanted to do this, this, this profile. Because, I mean, they are cool birds. And they can do amazing things. You know, they're, they're great at transporting trans pointing people but they are just yeah 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 so you have to have normal color you must be eligible for secret security clearance you must be a second class swimmer or higher you must be able to have good depth reception which means that you obviously can't have any issues with your depth perception you got to go to the the school, the MS school down in Florida, which is where the majority of uh, flight training, I believe, for the Marine Corps takes place. You must complete SEER school, which is survival, evasion, resistance, and escape school at uh, Brunswick. The and that school is pretty intense. They literally, it's it's essentially if you've seen GI Jane, where towards the end of the movie they. They're all out trying to perform a mission against the SEALs, and the SEALs capture them and, you know, just start... They beat the shit out of them, they keep them in cages, and they, they do all the stuff to them. That's what you have to go through. And it's, it teaches you to... You know, the, the, the point of this for the cr air crew is if your bird goes down, it is in your job to not get captured. And so they teach you how to survive off the land, how to try to evade... The bad guys, how to resist them. If you do get captured, you know, how to resist the torture that they, put, they may put you through, you know, to not give away any valuable information, and then how to escape. And then kind of go over a lot of those things with you. The, and then you obviously you go through, there's a bunch of training, shit ton of different training you have to do. The, I mean, it's a cool job. You know, it'll lead you to some cool stuff in the civilian world, I would imagine. But, uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting job. I mean, it's one that I think you have to like because anything that regards flying, flying, you know, is something that you really have to enjoy. I think because it is a dangerous job. You know, planes are planes, and helicopters are helicopters, and they can always crash. But it's a cool job if it's something that you would ever be interested in. You know, by all means, uh, hit those recruiters up. I'm sure they could always use more more of these guys. So. Yeah. All right, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up, and I'll see you in the next one. Semper Fi.